Hi guys, today's Bible story is about a short man, very short but rich tax collector who was so prideful because he had so much money. But he was so short that when there was a crowd of people hearing that there was Jesus, he, he couldn't go he was because he was so short. You guys will find out how a short, rich man was able to meet Jesus through this Bible story. So let's find out. Hello church, welcome to Sunday Worship. Behind me are the 10 richest people in the world. Woohoo! Well, does anyone know who the richest person in the world is? Any guesses? Here's the hint. Yes, it's Jeff Bezos, CEO of Amazon with $175 billion of net worth. That's 175 billion! But did you hear that he is giving away half of his 175 billion dollars? Half is about 87.5 billion. Smart, right? You know what? I'm just kidding. He's not giving away his money, but I wish he does so that the money can help people in need. Well, there was a rich person in the Bible who actually gave away half of his position to other people. But before we find out who that is, Teacher Hannah will lead us into prayer. Hi guys, my name is Teacher Hannah. Welcome to another week of Sunday service. Before we start, let's put our hands together and close our eyes and I'll pray for us. Father God, thank you so much for uh, this wonderful day where we can learn more about you from uh, Pastor Ine. Um, Lord, even though we can't gather in a physical building, you've given us our leaders and teachers and church community that we can still draw close to you um, and your spirit as well, Lord, that lives within our hearts. So would you just continue to teach us and mold us today? Um, we just thank you for this day and we give it all to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
is not like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. And I could search for all eternity long and find there is none like you, none like you, none like you. Jesus reached the spot. He looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have treated anybody out of anything, I'll pay back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man come to seek and to save the lost. Luke 19, 5-10 Stories of the Bible, Zacchaeus. This is Zacchaeus. Hey there. Who was a tax collector and very rich. Tax collectors were hated because many people thought they were liars and cheaters. Boo. <laughs> Zacchaeus lived in Jericho, and one day, Jesus was passing through Jericho. What's going on? Jesus is here, woohoo! Zacchaeus wanted to see who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. But he was too short to see above the crowd. Oh, that's it. So he ran ahead to a place where he knew Jesus would come. He climbed to a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. Oh, hey there, friend. Who? Me? Yeah, you. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Oh, all right. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Ugh. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to Jesus, I will give half my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, Salvation has come to this house today. What? This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. Once there was a short but a rich guy who lived in the town of Jericho. Well, rich person always has a lot of friends. Right, Pastor Ide? Mm, no, not necessarily. In fact, everyone in his town did not like him. They thought that this guy was a liar and cheater. Why? He was a tax collector. Now, what does tax collector have to do with having no friends? Are tax collectors weird? Well, here's why. The short rich guy's name was Zacchaeus, and he was a chief tax collector. 
Zacchaeus was rich because he collected money beyond what's necessary and kept some for himself. Oh, that's not good. Yep. And that is why Zacchaeus was being looked down upon as a sinner. Zacchaeus didn't really care about how other people define him because wealth was far more important for him than reputation. One day, Jesus came to town of Jericho, where Zacchaeus lived. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> gathered around Jesus to hear him speak. The crowd was huge. Jesus was surrounded by a huge group of people. Zacchaeus also wanted to see Jesus. Do you guys remember what I said about Zacchaeus' height? Now he was short. So he could not see above the crowd. So guess what he did? He climbed up a sycamore tree to see Jesus. Jesus was walking towards Zacchaeus. Even at this point, Zacchaeus probably didn't know that his life would totally change. Now, when Jesus came near the tree, he looked at Zacchaeus and he said, Well, Zacchaeus, come down immediately because I must stay at your house today. Yes, your house, Zacchaeus, Z-A-C-C-H-A-E-U-S. That's always hard. Zacchaeus hurried down the tree without hesitation, and he welcomed Jesus to his house. Zacchaeus was happier than ever, but people began to complain and say, Jesus went to a sinner's house? Now they probably thought that it was not okay for Jesus to spend time with someone like Zach. How could Jesus hang out with this dishonest guy who stole other people's money? Do you guys think that Jesus loved people under certain condition? I don't think so. And this is why Jesus loved Zacchaeus like everyone else. When Zacchaeus learned that Jesus loved him unconditionally, his life changed. So this is what Zacchaeus decided to do. He said to Jesus, I will give half of my property to the poor and I will now pay back four times, not one, not two, not three, not five, four times as much as to everyone I have ever cheated. Cheater. Now, after hearing this, Jesus said to Zacchaeus, Today, you and your family have been saved because you are a true son of Abraham. The son of men came to look for and to save people who are lost. Jesus said this to Zacchaeus because he came for people just like him. He came to rescue those who treasure worldly things more than God. Can you guys guess what was in the box that I received in the beginning? Cookies? iPhones? Puppies? No. It's Nintendo Switch. This is a game console where, that teacher Paul bought so he can play. Hmm. It's okay to play little when your parents say it's okay. But anyways, if you have to choose between temporary pleasure like Nintendo Switch or permanent treasure in heaven, which one will you guys choose? Is there anything that we put first in front of our God? Is money more important? Having more likes or friends on Instagram more important? <laughs> How about becoming rich and famous when you grow up? When Zacchaeus met Jesus, his life transformed. His wealth didn't really mean much to him anymore. Because if we believe in God, nothing matters more than his unconditional love and the promise that he has given us. 
Zacchaeus demonstrated his repentance and love for God with his action. James chapter 2, verse 14 and 17 says, My friends, what good is to say you have faith when you don't do anything to show that you really do have faith? Can that kind of faith save you? If you know someone who doesn't have any clothes or food, you shouldn't just say, I hope all goes well for you. I hope you will be warm and have plenty to eat. What good is it to say this unless you do something to help? Faith that doesn't lead us to do good deeds is all alone and dead. Wow. Imagine you have a treasure box. If you can take it everywhere you go, what would you guys want to put? Will you join me in choosing God? If that is you, let's pray and ask Jesus to meet us like he did with Zacchaeus to transform our lives. Just like the Bible verse we read, let's put our faith into action. Let's put away our worldly treasure and focus on God. Even though we make mistakes or, or will make mistakes in the future or may have already made too many mistakes, God loves us unconditionally and wants to save us from eternal death. Aren't we so thankful? Will you join me today to pray? Let's get on our knees and ask for forgiveness and also celebrate what God has done for us and prepared for our lives. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your great rescue plan. Without your love, we are lost. Please help us to seek you and love you. Mold us so that we can love you more than anything. Help us to put our faith into action. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now that's it for today, boys and girls. And I hope to see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we are going to say Lord's Prayer all together. So let's put our hands together, close our eyes, bow our heads, and we will say the Lord's Prayer all together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'll see you guys next week. Hello, Teacher Chris. Thank you for going up to the tree today. Before we end our service, can you assist our, our church to know how to spell Zacchaeus? Z-A-C-H. Oh, yeah, Benji's here. <laughs>